Now I've talked about the VR expansion plugin quite a bit in the past and even done quite a few tutorials on the VR expansion plugin specifically. And with Unreal Engine 5 having recently released in early access, I thought now would be a great time to revisit not only the installation of the VR expansion plugin and how to get it all set up, but also go over why even in Unreal Engine 5, the VR expansion plugin is still a great plugin to have in any VR project that you are looking to build. So before we go ahead and jump into all of this, if you enjoy the video and you want to see even more like this, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below. It lets me know that you guys want to see even more videos like this. And let me also know in the comments below if you would like to see any VR expansion plugin tutorials in Unreal Engine 5. And if so, what kind of plugin tutorials would you guys like to see? Go and leave that down below. And with that, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so first things first, I wanna start with the overall installation and setup of the VR expansion plugin. Now, if you've ever set up any kind of plugin or anything, it's really the same general idea, both in Unreal Engine 4 as well as in Unreal Engine 5. But I'm gonna go through the whole process anyways. Um, so to start out, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, of course, get to the VR expansion plugin. This is actually, it's stored on a GitHub repository. Uh, you can actually find this in GitHub. It's actually not that difficult. If you actually look up either Mordentral or VR or VR expansion plugin, you should be able to find it. Um, I'll also be leaving a link to this repository down below if you'd like to go ahead and uh, just click on the link down there. So what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and click down on this branch. I'm actually going to go down into Unreal Engine 5 pre-release. This will just make sure that we are in fact compatible with Unreal Engine 5 and we're not going to have any kind of issues when trying to run this in Unreal Engine 5. So with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and download the zip and I'm just going to go ahead and save this. It shouldn't take you very long. It's not a particularly long zip file, but I'll go ahead and minimize that and we'll go ahead and open up our downloads folder and go and extract that here. And you now have the whole plugin that we need for the VR expansion plugin. <laughs> uh, so I actually already have a project set up that I'm actually going to want to use with this. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and go ahead and open that up. And th we actually don't yet have a plugins folder. So if you don't have a plugins folder, all you have to do is quite simply add one. It, Unreal Engine will automatically detect it when you reopen this project. So I'll actually go ahead and click on folder, plugins. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this, this whole VR expansion plugin folder right into our plugins folder within our project uh, that we have open. And we actually don't need the zip folder anymore, so I'm actually gonna go and close that as well. Now, once we go ahead and open up this project, you'll actually get a little prompt right here saying that the following modules are missing or built with a different engine version. And it actually specifies as well the open VR expansion plugin, the VR expansion plugin, and the VR expansion editor. Would you like to rebuild them now? Of course, we're going to wanna go ahead and hit yes. This will actually go ahead and enable our plugins as well once we have the project open. And this will take some time, so you do just wanna let it run. And once we have this open though, we'll have the VR expansion plugin fully ready to go. Um, so I'll just go ahead and let this run and I'll be right back in a second. All right, with that, that is actually all that we need in order to actually get the plugin installed. If you want to verify that the VR expansion plugin is actually installed, we can actually go right over here into plugins. And if I actually click on install, you can actually see we have open VR expansion plugin, which is enabled. Uh, open XR expansion plugin, which actually isn't enabled, but that's not gonna make too big of a difference here. As well as the VR expansion plugin, which is the big thing that I was looking for here, which is in fact enabled. Um, so as I said, it's really simple. If you installed any kind of plugin in either Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5, it's the same exact process. Now, I wanna go over real quick why this is such a great plugin to have, even still in Unreal Engine 5. And I actually wanna start actually with the player. So if we actually go ahead and create, let me go ahead and find it here. There should be a VR character, which should be here near the bottom, there it is. And I actually wanna compare this real quick with the VR pawn, because there is quite a significant difference here. And let me see here, blueprints and VR pawn. 
Now, the first big thing you're going to notice is this giant capsule that we have here in the VR character. Uh, the capsule actually does follow the player around as they move around within their play space, which isn't something that the VR pawn does at all when you first boot this up. So you do already have that basic collision enabled. The only thing that the capsule does not do on the VR character is it does not rescale based off of your height or whether or not you're crouching or fully standing. So you do kind of need to configure that if you want to be able to reposition the capsule height. But other than that, it is, the collision is probably very significant. It is a very significant change for the VR character. Um, and we can actually go ahead and look in here too. We also already have a mesh which is actually tied to just the underside of the uh, camera, which we can actually use for any sort of body, if we want to do any sort of collisions or anything like that. Uh, VR replicated camera, which is, as I said, our camera. And it's actually replicated as well, which is actually great if you're planning on doing any sort of multiplayer functionality. Uh, this, that's actually a huge perk of using anything within the VR expansion plugin is it's already pretty much pre-rigged to be able to use any sort of multiplayer functionality and already replicate movement, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then of course we have the left and right motion controllers and also the VR movement reference which is another big thing and I've actually made a very quick uh, tutorial as well uh, which I'll actually leave linked right here on adding locomotion movement to a to your own VR game. Because the thing is, the VR pawn does not support any sort of locomotion movement. It, there are basically two ways in order to enable that within the VR pawn. Either one, you have to add in your own sort of gravity as well as locomotion movement, or you have to create a whole new character and then use the VR movement within that which can be a little bit of an annoyance. Fortunately, the VR character from the VR expansion plugin does have this all enabled right out of the box. So you don't have to worry about whether or not you'll be able to use locomotion movement or going around configuring it, anything like that, which is really great. Now, a couple other things that the VR expansion plugin adds in that I think are really great to have in most, if not every VR project, uh, let me actually go ahead and open up the VR pawn here because I believe they are all components. So if I actually go ahead and open up a VR pawn. So first thing that actually caught my attention to the VR expansion plugin in the first place is gestures. So the VR expansion plugin does support gestures and gesture recognition, which is really amazing. I, I have actually used the gesture recognition system um, and it does work very well. It, it does work really well as well as at detecting gestures, which is really amazing. Uh, so if you're doing any sort of gesture recognition or anything like that, I would definitely suggest checking this out because uh, this is a probably one of the best implementations that I've found for gesture recognition as well. And then the other thing, which is something you will most likely use in your VR project are things like buttons, sliders, and I believe it calls it, I believe they're called dials, if I recall. Yes, VR dials, um, which all do exactly as what the name implies. So the dial will actually spin in place and probably honestly isn't best to use in a, in a player, if I'm honest. Uh, but a dial will actually allow for you to spin a mesh in place. A slider will allow for you to slide, uh, a mesh back and forth in place as well as get a value from that slider and then you also have buttons as well which is also very amazing and I have done a tutorial on sliders and buttons in the past as well uh, and levers as well levers are also very nice to have as well now you're probably not going to end up using all of those within the the all of these from the VR expansion plugin but they are as I said very great to use uh, in addition, we also just have a whole bunch of alternative skeletal mesh, static mesh, um, all, all these kinds of stuff, which are honestly really great to have for the simple reason that they are all meant to be replicated for multiplayer use, which is, as I said, very amazing. Uh, he also has some base grippable uh, actors and components, which allow for you to very easily implement in grippable objects rather than using the VR templates default stuff. 
Um, so this is all really nice to use. Now, if you're looking at building any sort of VR game, I would highly suggest checking out this plugin. As I said, it is an amazing plugin to use. It is really fantastic, even if it's just for the player. I find that the VR character from the VR expansion plugin works much better than the VR pawn that you get out of a, the VR template, even in Unreal Engine 5. Um, I know that they've made quite a few improvements and I have said that, but it just quite frankly doesn't, it, it quite frankly still isn't perfect to use. So I would definitely suggest checking it, checking it out. And if you're also looking at implementing any of the features, gesture recognition, sliders, buttons, any of that, like I had mentioned, or multiplayer work, I would again recommend checking this out because the VR expansion plugin does implement all these features very well. So with that, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more like this, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below. And with that, I will see you guys in the next reality. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters, Boombox Ed, 9X, and Shea.